Oh, hey, welcome back. Last week, we learned how to drive on the opposite side and made our way out to the beautiful English Cotswolds. We took you to the quaint, old-fashioned town of Laycock, where we showed you the Laycock Abbey, also known as Hogwarts Corridors. We also brought you along to Castlecombe, named the most beautiful village in all of the UK. Make sure you check out that video in case you missed it. This week, we're taking you with us on our day trip to Oxford University. Stay tuned for all the best things to see and learn about this historic school. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe to follow along on all of our adventures. We're heading over to Oxford today. It's an Oxford day. Oxford day. So we uh, filled up on petrol this morning for the first time in the UK. Just like fill up automatically on your own and then you go inside and pay. Now we're on our way to pick up Did the I kids. Did I just talk about gas? <laughs> What's that from? What's that from? Uh, it's from friends. Oh. And then we're gonna head to Oxford and have a little Oxford day for ourselves. Oxford is about an hour, eh, hour 15 away from here in the Cotswolds. Um, you can also get there from London pretty easily. You can either drive or there's plenty of train options and like day trips even that you can book a tour. Hopefully it won't be too busy. It's a Saturday, so expecting it to be a busy day in Oxford. What is some of the history of Oxford that you know? And they have the oldest professor that's ever like kept what? professing. <laughs> uh, he's like Ooh, and five, six hundred years old. His name is Mr. Bodleian. Archibald Bodleian. He's been there for a long time. He's been teaching history, oh, which like he's, still he's lived professing? through so much of it, which is so cool. Oh, he can just give his own personal Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, like, well, I remember when Joan of Arc the did Revolutionary this thing War. Because I was yeah. in love with her. These cool. kids. Always taking their sweet time. <laughs> time to go drive. Chilton. Chilton? Where? <gasps> Chilton! Yes. We've made it to Oxford Town. It's very quaint and cool. Very touristy. Oh, there's a bee on my camera. First impressions. It's wonderful. I love all the wonderful architecture and buildings. What do you think, Shell? It is a little crowded, which I, mean, I it's expected. It's a tourist town. Yeah. We're gonna go to a big library. Check out some Bodleians. We've already been there. Fake. Even though this one was also called the Bridge of Sighs, the original version is in Venice, which we visited just a few months ago. It does feel like Vegas. I love to have a little bucket hat. Mom's on a mission to get as many door pictures as possible. Got it? Our first objective was buying tickets to see the Bodleian Library. Even though we arrived early, we still had to wait until later that afternoon to come back for our tour. So mom told us about this thing called like the hop-on, hop-off bus. You want to explain the hop-on, hop-off bus? The hop-on, hop-off bus is a way in any city. Basically, <laughs> it's a way that you can uh, see more Sites. different places and just in a more hop on a bus. Way. So. And you can hop off cool. whenever you want to get up. There you go. Good day. Cheerio. We're in England. <laughs> I thought you were going to marry what we were doing. <laughs> oh. The hop on, hop off bus took us all around town. We drove by the Eagle and Child Pub, which has been around since the 17th century, and played host to the Inklings Writing Club which included J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. Unfortunately, that pub has been closed since the pandemic and it's currently being remodeled until at least 2023. The day we visited also happened to be the graduation day for many of the schools. Shelby and I have uh, figured out where we're gonna get our continuing education from. We're gonna go to Oxford 
then I'm gonna get my PhD and Shelby's gonna study theology. Well, just being here is like making me wish I could come to school here. It's like, why didn't no one tell me I could go to Oxford for college? I just never would have Well, about it. this is so cool. No, we never would have met. Yeah, we would have met some too. English guy what if we both named were? Harry. Harry? That probably treats <laughs> you better than Harry. Me. Apparently this mound was originally built by King William the Conqueror in 1071 as the first Oxford castle. We hopped off the bus at Christ Church College, which was founded in 1546 by King Henry VIII. Apparently its alumni include 13 British prime ministers, as well as King Edward VII, King William II of the Netherlands, William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania, Lewis Carroll, author of Alice in Wonderland, and also John Locke. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's you. go in. <laughs> it also served as a filming location for the first couple Harry Potter movies. This is the staircase in the entry hall when you first arrive at Hogwarts, before you get sorted into your houses. The stairs lead up to the Great Dining Hall, which served as the seat of Parliament assembled by King Charles I during the English Civil War. And although it wasn't actually used as the filming site for the Hogwarts Dining Hall, it was definitely the inspiration for it. The security guard even asked us if we'd like to take turns sitting in Queen Elizabeth I's special seat at the table. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. Oh. Just walking into the great hall of Harry Potter, you know? Dad just got sorted by the sorting hall. Guess what house he's in? What? Cool. What house do you think you're in for Harry Potter? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just take a wild guess? <laughs> it's summer house. <laughs> Dad has no idea what we're talking about. Not so funny now. We even found a few more beautiful doors for Carol. Another door in the books. We checked out Blackwell's, a company that's been around since 1879 and has been named UK's Book Retailer of the Year several times. It's one of the largest bookshops in the world, so they have something for everyone. As for me, I found loads of travel books even one about Dubrovnik, Croatia, where we'll visit later in this trip. Matt and Carol were able to find the Tolkien and C.S. Lewis section. It turns out Blackwell's was the first to publish Tolkien before he became so famous for The Lord of the Rings. Next, it was time for our tour of the Bodleian Library. The Bodleian was first opened in 1602 by Sir Thomas Bodley, and it is one of the oldest libraries and second largest in all of Europe holding over 13 million printed items. During our tour, we were able to see Duke Humphrey's old library, the section which houses some of the oldest and most famous artifacts. It was also used as the Hogwarts library, including the restricted section in the filming of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We just finished up at the Bodleian Library. And uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely worth checking out. We get to become Bodley and Library card <laughs> members now. <laughs> yeah, so, so we can come and study here. Yeah, you, you can do. study here if you become, and it's free. And you just have to you just have to have a, have good, a good reason, reason like which is like, oh, I'm writing a book. Yeah, great. And then you just give them a draft of what your book's about. There you go. Bam, bada bing, bada boom.
got the stance going on. Can you tell the good people what this is, Mama? The lamp post that inspired C.S. Lewis to write about it in The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. <laughs> This is the Tumnus Gargoyle, the gargoyle that inspired C.S. Lewis to create his character Tumnus in The Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe. It, it looks like it. Better be careful, Shelby. Mom's taking over your job of explaining things. I know. Now she's giving me a break. That's nice. It's a new style that's going to catch up. <laughs> Mom's giving us like history lessons over here and then you're just like, do you like my new hat? <laughs> You know, if you squint a little bit, you kind of look like Tumnus. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> food little, little food like review it. from Dad. Um, what did you guys get? This is a chicken Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar like you've never seen before. Exactly. What I've learned is they redefine food here in England. What do you think is... They have been doing food longer than we've been alive <laughs> as a country. Maybe the same with the Caesar salad. But it is tasty. Well, then does it really matter? It, it does. In the grand scheme of things, it does. <laughs> no, you need to embrace the differences of another culture. That's yeah, right. just like mom did this morning with her... Black pudding. Black pudding. Oh. She enjoyed that. We tootled around inside an Alice in Wonderland shop, as well as this quaint secondhand bookshop tucked in a deep alleyway. It's been a full day in Oxford. We've done a lot of stuff. Have you enjoyed your time in Harry Potter land? Yeah, well, and I mean, Oxford is like so much more than just that. Like, it is. It, like, I would want to There's actually see... a lot of rich history here as well. Yeah, you wouldn't even believe it. <laughs> no, I just mean, I would have wanted to come here regardless of, like, without even without the Harry Potter connection. So it's really cool. Now I just want to come to school here. Yes, Shelby is convincing me to go back to school. <laughs> what a nerd. Before heading back to our Airbnb, we made a quick detour through the covered market. And with that, we returned to our car and headed back to where we were staying in the Cotswolds, exhausted after a long but very fun day at Oxford University. certainly hope we'll be returning one day. And who knows, maybe it'll be us students. Next week, join us in the historic city of Bath. We'll tour some of the most ancient sites. Have a full English tea at a significant location. And take in all that Bath has to offer. We'll also take you with us to Bristol, where we meet up with an old friend and visit the largest hot air balloon festival in all of Europe. You won't want to miss this one, so make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>